How is the information in the mature messenger RNA strand translated into a protein? The nitrogenous bases are grouped into three letter codes called codons. The genetic code includes 64 codons. Most codons code for specific amino acids. There are four special codons, one that codes for start and three that code for stop. Translation begins with the messenger RNA strand binding to the small ribosomal subunit upstream of the start codon. Each amino acid is brought to the ribosome by a specific transfer RNA molecule. The type of amino acid is determined by the anticodon sequence of the transfer RNA. Complementary base pairing occurs between the codon of the messenger RNA and the anticodon of the transfer RNA. After the initiator transfer RNA molecule binds to the start codon, the large ribosomal subunit binds to form the translation complex and initiation is complete. In the large ribosomal subunit, there are three distinct regions called the E, P, and A sites. During elongation, individual amino acids are brought to the messenger RNA strand by a transfer RNA molecule through complementary base pairing of the codons and anticodons. Each anticodon of a transfer RNA molecule corresponds to a particular amino acid. A charged transfer RNA molecule binds to the A site and a peptide bond forms between its amino acid and the one attached to the transfer RNA molecule at the P site. The complex slides down one codon to the right where the now uncharged transfer RNA molecule exits from the E site and the A site is open to accept the next transfer RNA molecule. Elongation will continue until a stop codon is reached. A release factor binds to the A site at a stop codon, and the polypeptide is released from the transfer RNA in the P site. The entire complex dissociates and can reassemble to begin the process again at initiation.